Hello guys and welcome back to another very interesting video. I've been taking a look at the DLSS override feature on the NVIDIA app, forcing the new transformer model for upscaling and looking at two games specifically, Horizon Zero Dawn Remastered and Ghost of Tsushima. And it kind of blew my mind at how much of a difference it actually makes in clarity and image stability in motion. How much of a difference? Well, judge for yourself. I'll explain my methodology of testing real quick because while sitting still, all upscales can look pretty good essentially, but it's in motion where it matters the most. For example, here we're running the game at 3440 by 1440 with TAA. So this is native resolution with TAA. And if we begin to move the camera, the image becomes overall less stable. You can see it in the palm trees or the grass. Now it still looks pretty good. I'd say it looks really good, but it's just the things that I look for when we're reconstructing an image or taking a look at anti-aliasing in general. If we take a look at FSR native AA, so we're using FSR at native resolution for anti-aliasing, I think it does a better job than TAA. The image is overall more stable, but again, when you move the camera, it does become a little bit less stable. Although again, looks better than TAA. Now, if we try to upscale, say, using FSR performance, so now we're trying to upscale from 50% of 1440p, which is 720p, you can see while sitting still, it looks okay, but as soon as you begin to move the camera, you get noticeably more flicker, shimmer, and some ghosting with the flying objects. If we swap over to DLSS performance transformer model, the image becomes crystal clear. And even more impressively, it actually remains clear even when moving the camera or being in motion. And that is extremely impressive to me because we are upscaling from 720p to 1440p ultra wide. And the previous DLSS model was more like FSR. And I'll show you right now. Because YouTube heavily compresses the videos, it can sometimes go over some of the finer details and make it look a bit blurrier, but we have the old CNN model of DLSS performance on the left and the new transformer model of DLSS performance on the right. And if we were to take a bit of a more thorough look and zoom in, hopefully you guys can notice the differences because while playing, the difference is actually very noticeable. As a matter of fact, I'll slow the footage down so you guys can Take the time to take a look and you can also always pause but let's pause right here you can take a look at the big rock in front of us there's a lot more reconstructed detail on the transformer side or you can take a look at the grass or the road there's definitely a lot more detail on the transformer side so i think this might be the biggest difference that i've noticed this one and ghost of tsushima although ghost of tsushima has some issues with the dlss transformer that i will go over as well because i believe it is a bug it has to be because it doesn't happen here or in any other games but overall not only do you get a lot more detail reconstructed but you also get a much much sta more stable image essentially it's even more stable than uh, native TAA or FSR AA. And here I put together the same run, but with FSR performance on the left and DLSS transformer on the right. And as you can see, DLSS transformer is quite a bit ahead as far as image clarity goes. As a matter of fact, in this game, I felt that DLSS, the previous version and FSR were actually quite comparable with one another, but DLSS transformer has made a massive leap, raising the standard even higher. And if we pause and take a look, you can look at the palm tree on the left or even the distant tree on the right, how much more detail is in the DLSS Transformer model, which is uh, pretty cool and interesting to see. But before we wrap up with Horizon Zero Dawn, I just want to take another look at native resolution versus DLSS performance transformer model. We'll start with native TAA on the left and DLSS performance transformer on the right. And the difference in clarity and stability is massive. I almost can't believe how much better DLSS performance looks versus native resolution. I mean, you guys can see for yourself. And even though I might sound like I'm idolizing NVIDIA when it comes to seeing tech like this, 
it's actually very incredible and it deserves a lot of praise because it's essentially like everyone with an RTX GPU got a free GPU upgrade basically because it looks much better instead of using DLSS quality previously you can use DLSS performance and you get a very good looking image as aggressive as Nvidia can be and sometimes predatory with its pricing and all the marketing stuff this deserves a lot of praise in my book and I try to be fair in this channel but this is really cool if we pit it against FSR native AA as we saw before FSR native AA does a bit of a better job than TAA at native resolution the image is overall more stable and more clear but again DLSS performance transformer model is a lot more clear and a lot more stable with FSR native AA you also do get a little bit of ghosting with some of the uh, uh, flying objects uh, the leaves and what have you but yeah overall DLSS transformer man it's extremely impressive it's more stable and it looks cleaner and more detailed so i mean the only better solutions you have is uh, dlss balance quality or dlaa in my opinion again you guys can pause the image and look at it more closely for yourselves if you want to and i may even post some pictures on twitter because youtube compression will inevitably smear over the finer detail as a whole so it is what it is with ghost of tsushima well it's actually pretty much the same thing we have the old cnn model dlss performance on the left and transformer dlss performance on the right as you can see we see very similar improvements a lot more detail and consistency no flicker no shimmer and it looks absolutely amazing guys it looks even better in person while playing the game and just like Horizon Zero Dawn and other Sony ports, Ghost of Tsushima actually has a very good implementation of FSR upscaling. And here I made a run with FSR quality on the left and DLSS performance transformer on the right. And unlike Horizon Zero Dawn, I feel that FSR quality does a bit of a better job than it did in Horizon Zero Dawn versus DLSS Performance Transformer, but still uh, FSR does exhibit a bit of uh, flickering if you look at the trees, whereas DLSS Performance is more steady. Although there is a bit of ghosting with the debris flying around uh, with DLSS Performance sometimes. Here's another closer look at the dense trees with DLSS Performance CNN, the old model, as you can see. When we move the camera, things become a little bit less stable and flickery, just like we saw in Horizon Zero Dawn, and actually a lot of other games as well. Even happens with TAA, as we saw. But yeah, this is DLSS Performance. Now, if we swap over to FSR performance, it looks more or less the same as far as the trees go, although the grass shadows in front of us are a bit more stable, although the sun has also gone up a little bit because in this game it's very hard to match the weather exactly the same because it's dynamic and it changes quite fast. But if we swap over to DLSS transformer performance, we see the finer detail again be more stable. I'd say that's one of the biggest benefits of the transformer model that I've seen. Not only does it resolve more detail, but it keeps things stable during motion, which is one of the biggest fallbacks of pretty much all upscaling solutions uh, that, that we're used to, or even just anti-aliasing in general, even at native resolution. Now, before we wrap it up, there was one issue I found with DLSS Transformer in Ghost of Tsushima, actually. Well, you can kind of see it sometimes. There's a, an artifacting issue that can happen only in Ghost of Tsushima, as far as I've seen. I didn't see this in Horizon Zero Dawn, but you get this like artifacting effects accumulating primarily when the camera's not moving and with volumetric, grain volumetric effects. You can actually see it right here. It's like this grid pattern that begins to form and it's not that bad right here, but it can be distracting. And this is the perfect scenario for it. Overcast, gray sky and volumetric effects. As long as you don't move the camera, this can happen only in certain situations. And I'm not sure why, because as soon as you move the camera, it just clears up. Everything else is fine that I showed you, 
everything else looks great except for that which is pretty strange and it can also happen if you open up the game map and especially if there's like a overcast layer on top because it's kind of interactive the map there's clouds over it sometimes but you can see it and then when you move the camera it goes away but this isn't an official implementation of DLSS Transformer as far as goes to Tsushima it's just being forced through the NVIDIA app but yeah that is one issue that I've encountered with it in this one game and not another so yeah hopefully it can get tweaked and patched it's not a massive deal because you're constantly moving in this game but it can be distracting and when it comes to cutscenes you don't control those and it can sometimes happen during cutscenes as well but yeah well guys we've come to the end of the video please like and subscribe if you feel i've earned it now done a couple of videos looking at some of the new dlss for update features and i personally find it to be the highlight of the rtx 5000 generation launch except that you don't need to buy anything as long as you have an rtx gpu you get these upgrades to what is already very impressive features i mean it's like getting a gpu upgrade but without having to spend anything because now you can use more aggressive DLSS and get even better image quality and higher FPS. It's one thing I have to give NVIDIA a lot of credit for staying on top and improving their tech, which raises the bar for the competition as well, right? Everybody benefits from this. But what do you think? Leave a comment and let me know. Until next time, bye-bye.